This problem is from section 3.4. The objective is to solve value problems. And as we can see in our question, we have a 20,000 seat amphitheater that will sell tickets at $50 and $75 for a Green Day concert. We're going to let X be the number of tickets we sell at $50 and Y be the number of tickets we sell at $75. This means the sum of x and y should equal our total number of tickets, which would be the seats, 20,000. So that gives us our first equation, the x plus y equals 20,000. Our next equation is the value piece. Each x ticket is $50, so 50 times x plus 75 times y will give us the total revenue that we are going to have from selling all of our tickets. So we're assuming that we sell out selling all 20,000 tickets. So part A would like us to come up with a total revenue function in terms of x. So f of x meaning they want one input variable of x. So I'll need to take one of my equations, the x plus y equals 20,000, and solve for y, giving me y equals 20,000 minus x. So what I'd like to do is to plug that in for where y is. This would give me 50x plus 75 times the quantity 20,000 minus x. And this is my revenue function. We could, of course, simplify this a little bit by distributing the 75 through, giving us 50x plus 1,500,000 minus 75x. And we can make this look a little prettier giving us negative 25x plus 1,500,000. So this is our revenue function, where x is the number of $50 tickets we sell. So if we look at a graph of this, you'll see that it is a decreasing function, and they give us a domain from 0 to 20,000. and that would make sense because we only have 20,000 tickets that we could sell. So the number of $50 tickets we sell is someplace between 0 and 20,000. So that would be our domain for our function. So if we graph this, our window, our x min would be 0 and our x max would be 20,000. And you would look at this graph and it would indeed be a decreasing function. Did my graph here. I went ahead and drew a line. It would be going starting up here at one million five hundred thousand and going down. Okay. The slope is the negative twenty five. And what does that mean in terms of the situation? Well, it means that our revenue is going to decrease by $25 for every $50 ticket sold. Which should make sense because the difference in the price for the two tickets is $25. And if I sell it at $50, I'm not selling it at $25 or at $75. So we could write our sentence for the mean of slope to be the revenue decreases by $25 for every $50 ticket sold. And if we want to talk about the range of this ticket, of this um, situation, again, the maximum amount we could have here is 1,500,000, and that happens when we sell all of our tickets for $75. And if we sell all of our tickets for $50, we would go with the 50 times the 20,000 to get the minimum value for Y. And again, our slope comes from our equation, which is multiplied by the input variable.